Hello, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can edit a photo in Photoshop from the very start to the very end. And if at all, this is what you've always wanted to learn, this is the right tutorial for you. So in this tutorial, you're basically going to be learning how you can simply process or color correct your raw images and later on do skin retouching and even out skin tones. And finally, how to best save the image so that it doesn't change in color when you post it or when you print it out. So simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So as soon as you open up a raw image into photoshop it is going to automatically open up the camera raw filter as you can see right here on the screen so in camera in the camera raw filter rather we just want first of all correct the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very image so we shall come and drop the highlights to recover information in the highlights of the sky and we're going to do the same for the whites then come and open up the shadows slightly and take the blacks down to bring back some of the lost contrast then you're going to come and add a little bit of contrast to the image and slightly open up the exposure of this photo. And after doing that, you're going to come the temperature and I feel like the image is leaning more on the cold side. So I'll just come and warm up the image by taking up the temperature of the image to around 5,400 Kelvins. After doing that, I'm just going to scroll to my color mixer. And in color mixer, I'm just going to play around with the hues saturation and luminous accordingly so hues when you're playing around with the hues you're changing a given color so for this case i just want to play around with the greens to see what works best for me so i prefer the greens to pop so i'll just take a slider towards the right hand side to make the greens look like a aquas and i'll make the yellows more towards the green side so you can do what you feel works best for you as a photographer so after that, I'm just going to come the blues and make the blue the blues towards uh, the aquas still. Then I'll come to saturation and slightly increase on the saturation of the blues to make the sky and the water in the background pop a little bit more. So in order to add more contrast to the dark areas, for example, the sky and the water, I'll just come and darken the blues by playing around with the luminous values of the blues. So after that, in case you want to make the image pop a little bit more, I'll scroll down to my calibration and come to the saturation of the blue primary and take that up. Just like that is going to make to make the image pop a little bit more. So you can see before, after. So in case the image is looking oversaturated, you're just going to come to our saturation slider right here and take down the saturation slightly so that the image doesn't look oversaturated. So after that, open the image into Photoshop for us to do the next adjustments like the skin retouching and other color grading steps. So right now we are in Photoshop. So basically in Photoshop, sorry about this, to us trying to recover some information from a previous session. So in Photoshop, we just want to do the skin retouching. So in order to do skin retouching, we are just going to come to the background layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J. Or you can use Command J. So just duplicate it twice. They name this to color, double click to rename, and double click on the name to rename this to texture. Texture just like that. And after that, select the color layer, turn off the texture layer, simply come to where you see filter, blur, and come to Gaussian blur. Then take the reader slider down and click on an area on the skin that has more textures. Then left click and start taking up the reader slider. And stop at the point whereby you're just starting to lose out on the details in that selected area. So I'm just going to use a radius of around 3.5 is okay for this image. Click OK. Select the texture layer now, activate it. Then come to image, apply image. Then the source is the name of the photo that you're editing. Layer, select the color layer. Channel has to be RGB. Blending has to be add because we are editing a 16-bit image. Measure the scale is 2 and offset 0. Measure the opacity is 100%. Preserve transparency and mask cannot check. Measure that you turn on the invert option and you'll see the textures on this square like kind of layer. In case you're editing a, an 8-bit image, the settings are going to be different. So make sure invert is not turned on. Under blending, select subtract. The scale is 2, offset 128 and you'll have the same results for for my case, I am editing a 16-bit image, so I'll just revert the settings to 16-bit settings, change the blend mode from normal, and change it all the way down to linear light. 
Select both layers and press Ctrl G or you can use Command G on the keyboard to group these layers. Open up the group and select the color layer. You're just going to come right click under the brushes, get the mixer brush tool. In case you can't locate the mixer brush tool under the brushes, you can locate the mixer brush tool down here. So for the settings of the mixer brush tool, make sure it is clean. And the second option that says clean brush after each stroke is selected with the weight of 9%, load 75, mix at 90, flat 100%. Make sure sample all layers is not turned on. So just briefly turn off the texture layer because we only want to deal with the colors in this case. So for this step, we just want to smoothen the skin of the subject. How do we do this? We make sure that the size of the brush is increased depending on the colors in the area that we want to smoothen. So to increase or decrease on the size of the brush tool or the mixer brush tool, use the open and close square bracket keys. So to blend on a given area, you simply left click and hold down and you drag and mix a given area. Like I said, mix the highlights alone, the mid-tones alone and the shadows alone in the image. And the other trick is don't zoom all the way in. And in case your mixer brush tool is not showing a a circle icon like I have in this case. What you have to do basically, make sure you deactivate the caps lock key on your keyboard and you're going to be good to go. So I'm just going to be doing this for the rest of the skin. And as you can see, I'm not zooming all the way in as I'm trying to smoothen or blend the skin tone colors in order to smoothen the model skin. So this is what I'm trying to do. So make sure that every area that has or contains skin has been worked on. So to work on a small area, for example, the hand and the knuckles, make sure you use a very small brush. And like I said, we are using the bracket keys to reduce on the size or increase on the size of the mixer brush tool. So when it comes to the neck area, I'll move the strokes of the brush in this up and down direction. Make sure you are following the way the skin is flowing on the subject's body. So just come to the first area and just try to blend or even out the tones. Like I said, mix the highlights alone, mid-tones alone, and the shadows alone, depending on the image or depending on the photo that you're trying to work on or edit. So I'm just going to do this for the rest of the image. And... Uh, by just doing that, you can see that we have a perfectly smooth image or skin. So after doing this, just come back and turn on the texture or high frequency. Like you can see before, after, before, after. So for areas that you want perfect or remove pimples or blemishes on the skin, you can select the texture or high frequency layer. Just come to the clone stamp tool and make sure the mode is set to normal or pass in the flat 100%. Align this check and the sample is set to current layer because we want to remove the blemishes that are part of the textures. So just come, zoom in by using Ctrl plus or you can use Command plus. So to remove a pimple or the blemish, hold down the Option key on the keyboard or you can hold down the Alternate key on the keyboard and left click on a clean area near the pimple. Make sure that the size of the clone stamp tool is slightly bigger than the pimple or the blemish that you want to remove. And you can play around with different sizes of the clone stamp tool by using the bracket keys or the square bracket keys on the keyboard. So Option for Mac, alternate for Windows option, left click on the clean area and release the option key on the keyboard and left click once again to clear or remove maybe a strand of hair or even a pimple or the blemish from uh, the model's skin. So this is what I'm going to do for the rest of the pimples or the blemishes on the model's skin. Ctrl minus to zoom out. So after smoothing the skin, we just want to even out the skin tones of our subject. So in order to do that, we're just going to create a stamp visible layer by pressing Shift, Option, Command E on the keyboard for Mac. Then for Windows, it's Shift, Alternate, Control E on the keyboard. Then come to the, to the empty layer icon and create an empty layer. Change the empty layer blend mode from Normal to Color. Come back to this layer that we created initially. Then come to select and make sure you select the subject. So that Photoshop can automatically help us select the subject in this case. So after Photoshop has selected the subject for us, you're just going to come back to the empty layer that we created.
come and get the brush tool. Remember this time around we are using the normal brush tool. And for a settings, hardness set to zero. Soft round brush is selected. The mode is set to normal. And opacity at 100%, flat 100%. And what we want to do, we are just going to zoom into the area of the skin that we want the rest of the skin to look like for this subject or for our model in this case. So, in order to sample a color that we want the rest of the skin to look like, we are simply going to command minus and identify that area. So I'm just going to hold down the option key on the keyboard. I feel like this is a suitable area. Option and sample. Option or alternate and left click to sample. So I've sampled that color and I'll start painting. Command minus so that I can paint quickly and faster. So this is what I'm going to do for the rest of the skin. In order to create even skin tones or even skin color for our subject is skin so i'm just going to be doing this don't mind if i told you make a mistake because i'll show you later on how you can correct uh, those mistakes regarding the areas that you did not want to paint in the first place uh, for this very step of the color grading process so i'm just going to paint quickly just like that on the hands yeah don't paint on the outfit. But in case you do all make a mistake, I'll show you how you can correct or rectify that error in that given area or that mistake. So I'll make sure or ensure that every area that has skin has been painted in this case. Reduce on the size and paint on majority of these areas on the subjective skin. So make sure you zoom all the way in to see that you have painted each and every area. You can set this area hadn't been painted well. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more and make sure that every area that has or contains skin has been painted. So you can see this area wasn't selected by Photoshop. So what I'll do in this case, I'll press Ctrl D or you can press Command D on the keyboard to deselect the active selection. And just come and include or paint quickly. Remember, we are painting while still selected on the empty layer that we created initially uh, before. So I'm just going to come and ensure that I have painted each and every area that has or contains skin tones or has skin. So I'm just going to come to the ear slightly and paint on those areas to remove that blue color cast. So after painting on these areas, remember, we are avoiding the lipstick or even the eyes. So after painting on those areas, in case you have made a mistake or an error, just come to the eraser tool. You can press E on the keyboard. And for settings of the eraser, make sure the mode is set to brush or pass at 100%, flat 100%. And I'm just going to come and I start erasing the effect from areas that I did not want to paint in the very first place like the necklace in this case come to the outfit right here on the dress you do not want to change or paint on her dress come to the nails and bring back the original color of the nails of the subject so after doing that control minus to zoom out and you can see the skin tone is now looking nice and uniform or even so in case it's a little bit overdone, you can always come the opacity and reduce on the opacity so that it can look a little bit natural and realistic. Then you can simply come and add a little bit of pop to the image by creating a levels adjustment layer. Then hold down the option key on the keyboard and drag in the black point just like that option and click until when the blacks are starting to clip in the image. So you can see the before, after, before, after. The image is now looking co contrasty, but it looks oversaturated. So just come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Make sure you target the reds in this case and come and turn down the lightness of the reds in this case. And that is going to reduce on the oversaturated red color in the image. Then you're going to come and create a selective color adjustment layer. Then come to the blacks and come to where you see the science. Take up the sun slider just like that. And you can see it is going to create a richer black tone for the model skin. And you can even do the same for the blues. 
depending on what you want. So play around with the blows and you can make the blows even darker or brighter to your taste or to your liking. And you can even play around with the magentas in the blows to see what it is going to be producing for your image or for your photo. So let's do a little bit of eye whitening to the subject's eyes. You're going to come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Make sure the master option is selected and take down the saturation out of the image to desaturate. So this means even any other random color like the yellows and the reds in the eyes or teeth are going to be desaturated. Then press, make sure the white layer mask is selected, then press Ctrl I or you can press Command I on the keyboard to invert the effect. Get the brush tool, make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. In case you don't have black and white on these two color swatches, you can simply reset by pressing D on the keyboard or left click on these tiny swatches. With white as the top color, get the brush tool. Mode is normal or past and the flat 100%. You can zoom in by using Ctrl plus or you can use Command plus on the keyboard and simply come and paint on the eyes or even the teeth to whiten the eyes or the teeth. So Ctrl minus to zoom out. So this is what we have been able to achieve in just Photoshop uh, with just a few steps. So to save the image, simply come to File, Export, and come to Export As. And it's going to open up the Export As dialog box right here in Photoshop. The format is JPEG. Quality, make sure the, the quality is set all out the maximum, which is 7 for this case. The resample is set to by Cubic Sharper. And simply make sure the, under the color space, Convert sRGB and embed color profile have been checked and simply click on export and you can save your photo in whatever location that you want to save it. So this is how you can edit a photo in Photoshop from the start to the very end. And in case you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and seeing you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.